Coronavirus Update. I'm Julie Walker with an AP News Minute. The Biden administration warning of COVID supply rationing this fall if Congress doesn't approve more funds after the country spent nearly all the money previously allocated. AP correspondent Jennifer King reports. Tests, vaccines, and therapeutics would become harder to come by as stockpiles are depleted, with new supplies sold overseas before Americans can access them. Vaccines might have to be once again restricted to the most vulnerable. The White House said this week the U.S. has yet to start negotiations with drug makers to place orders for an expected fall surge because of the lack of money. Jennifer King, Washington. And a blow to the Biden administration's plan to lift pandemic-related restrictions on migrants seeking asylum on the southern border. A judge ruled Friday they must continue. The latest instance of a court derailing the president's proposed immigration policies along the U.S. border with Mexico, the Justice Department said the administration will appeal. New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununo has vetoed a bill that would have prohibited schools from implementing face mask mandates. Though Sununu also noted that the state prides itself on promoting local control in education, schools have not had free reign when it comes to the coronavirus. North Korea says it found nearly 220,000 more people with feverish symptoms, even as leader Kim Jong-un claimed progress in slowing a largely undiagnosed spread of COVID across his unvaccinated country. AP correspondent Karen Shamas reports. The outbreak has triggered international concern about serious tragedies in a poor and isolated country that has one of the world's worst healthcare systems. Experts believe North Korea is downplaying the true scale of the spread to soften the political blow on Kim Jong-un. I'm Karen Shamas. Julie Walker, AP News.